What's up, Virgo? This is Soul. And Virgo, this is your bi-weekly uh, reading messages uh, beginning May 21st, ending uh, June 3rd, 2018. The messages will also be for uh, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising. All right, Virgo, I hope all is well. Um, looks like some pretty good energy for some of you I'm about to read for. So let's just hope uh, that some of this energy comes to pass. All right. These are just uh, general readings. So please do keep that in mind and it will not resonate with everyone. So anyway, Virgo, we uh, start with the energy of the two of swords in the reverse. So that's ending of conflict of either two things could be a relationship, two jobs with another person, possibly. Uh, but the two of swords in a reverse position uh, for some of you is the ending of some sort of conflict. Now, I am picking up conflict uh, possibly that may have been uh, in the past two weeks coming to an end, but also some sort of future conflict coming to an end, uh, possibly during this uh, two week period of time. Uh, definitely related to some sort of emotional aspects. Now, whether or not <clears throat> that may have created some sort of emotional aspects, I should say, um, definitely with other energies. Now, this could be either with an actual person or persons, or it could be a situation, some sort of uh, ending of conflict coming uh, together. Yeah, some ending of a conflict. That could be related to a situation. Let me rephrase that. Or a person. Or persons. Four of Cups is the uh, card that's underneath that Two of Swords in the reverse position. Now, this Four of uh, Cups, of course, is you know related to love and emotions. Uh, it could be that uh, there was a focus on <clears throat> one particular matter or um, situation that you were dealing with that brought on some sort of emotional aspect and conflict. Swords represent Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. Cups represents uh, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, uh, male or female as well. All right. So some sort of, and this is a social card for me too. So maybe it was a, a conflict going on or an ending of a conflict related to some sort of social uh, event or invitation. That could also be um, the energy that I'm picking up for some of you as well. All right. So the hermit card follows the, uh, yeah, see, this is definitely ending some sort of conflict because the hermit now shows up in the reverse position. And this is a major arcana. Normally it's the uh, need to take a step back to, um, go into some sort of introspection or, uh, you know, spending quiet time alone. This may be, you know, having to evaluate a situation. See, there you go. Ending of conflict and emotions, something that brought on some sort of conflict or emotions, whether that was, like I said before, related to other persons or a particular situation or event. OK, it's in the reverse and that's good. The hermit in the uh, reverse position and the upright position is neither good or bad. It's just that this is uh, coming out of some sort of uh, introspection. Maybe some of you may have uh, needed some time alone from another person. OK, following the um, two of swords in the reverse and there was some sort of conflict with another energy Then maybe you needed some time alone and now you're coming out. Some, you know, for others, there's some sort of um, having to evaluate something, you know, uh, a situation or it could be attached to, a, a, you know, another person. And now you're ready to come out of some sort of introspection. And usually um, you're coming out with a clear perspective, OK, on whatever it is that uh, created some sort of emotional aspect for you or some sort of conflict uh, to support that even further. The eight of swords in the reverse position is right underneath uh, the hermit card. The hermit does. Oh, you know what? The hermit I always say the hermit because it is the hermit uh, sometimes represents cancer for me. But the hermit is actually your uh, energy, astrological energy of uh, Virgo is Virgo. Hermit is Virgo. I just happen to remember that. And so the uh, card that's underneath the hermit is the uh, eight of swords. So this is the uh, eight of swords in the reverse ending of some sort of uh, anxiety, worries, stress, fears associated with some sort of emotional aspect uh, dealing with others could be romantic partnerships, friendships, family cups could represent children. Uh, then, you know, the conflict comes to an end. This is further uh validated by the eight of swords being in the reverse this card um in the upright position is it's just feeling trapped 
and sometimes bringing on some sort of uh, unnecessary mental, um, you know, agility. This is inward. This is taking things inward, and it may not be anything that is physically um, making you feel this way or, you know, another person, situation or event making you feel this way. This is your own uh, doing. You know, this could be your own uh, doing where you're thinking too much, you're, uh, you know, overthinking, uh, you're not getting a, a proper uh, night's sleep. This is a card of high stress and anxiety, um, yeah, extreme anxiety, especially uh, when it's in the upright. But just feeling like you're trapped. And you're not trapped. It's just a mental thing or you're going through some or you have gone through some sort of mental. Um, yeah, I don't like to say a breakdown, but see, just connect the dots here. Having to go within and maybe break off your energy from uh, other energies. OK, because it was creating some sort of conflict, uh, stress, worry, concerns, anxiety. Now you're ready to come out. And, you know, you've got a better handle or a better perspective on whatever it was that you needed to go back in inward or, you know, had to do some sort of evaluating or introspecting on or for the eight of swords is saying, OK, the re and, you know, the energy more or less is being released and um, things are starting to improve and get better for you. The swords represent Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, or whether or not you had exchanges with those energies, Virgo, it doesn't really matter. All right. So this could also to let me swing back here to the four of cups. And uh, since it is a social car for me and it relates to invitations in the reverse, it could be turning down an invitation, uh, not feeling sociable or could be just that not feeling sociable or just turning down possibly an invitation uh, to some sort of event in this two week period of time. Eight of swords in the reverse. That's good. Ending of conflict and stress, anxiety and worries, sleepless nights. Some might, well, not necessarily sleepless nights. That could be the case, but not getting a proper night's sleep because you're, you were up worrying or something around your energy was making you nervous Hmm. either making you nervous or anxious okay but that's coming to a rest now let me swing back up here in sequence here because i got so connected with these other cards and this energy the page of swords see getting to the bottom of the truth that's the page of swords and it's uh something new is about to begin um this is an actual person so you know again the swords represents uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. I'm feeling a younger energy. Um, so there could be some sort of dealings or association with a younger air energy, male or female, uh, for some Virgos coming up. This could be a family. This could be a birth of a child. And actually, you know what? The Page of Swords does represent at this particular time and for this reading, uh, a birth of a child because we are moving into Gemini season so that would make the swords yeah this is a birth of a child somebody's about to give birth if it's not someone that I'm reading for then it's someone that you know that's in a close association somebody's about to give birth and it may be through in set a uh, sincerian um, section okay it may come through through cesarean section all right wow but you page of swords and upright, you get to the heart of the matter, to cut to the truth of uh, whatever. And this is uh, significant because it follows the um, higher, not the higher fine, I'm sorry, the hermit, which is you, your energy. And then, you know, the ending of conflict, which could have been related to two things, whatever that is. It could have been two people. It could have been uh, two events, situations. It could have been two relationships. Then, you know, you use that sword to get to the bottom of the truth. You come out with a clearer, brighter perspective on um, which direction that you want to go in or move into. That's the page of swords. Okay, because you've gained some sort of clarity um, and cut away any kind of confusion and anxiety two of swords in the reverse now the best part of the reading is the lovers 
Actually, it's only one part because you have three other cards that I have yet to talk about that are so positive. The lovers is here for you, uh, Virgo, in the upright position. So that could be uh, the birth. That could also represent a job. It represents for me business. So it could be the start of a new business, start of a rom romantic uh, relationship, start of a friendship or a birth of a child. Lovers is being on the same page. Being uh, not only on the same page, but seeing eye to eye with one another. If it's come to, um, you know, romance, then it's romantic chemistry um, that is present. And this also, too, could be uh, related to the family. The great, deep emotional love for the family or togetherness, if you are actually, um, for those that I'm speaking for that are actually in partnerships and relationships, good two week period of time to get even um, more intimate or deeper in terms of your relationship, whatever that means. All right. Spoke about the four of cups, spoke about the eight of swords. Now, what's underneath the following card uh, that comes underneath the page of swords is the chariot. So this is actually a real good card to have. <laughs> Things moving, you know, pretty fast and in, in the direction that you want it to go. Uh, also, too, it could be that, you know, during this two-week period of time, someone is either um, purchasing a car, thinking about purchasing a car, uh, having some sort of car repair. There is a hint of a little warning, though. If there are some people who are uh, speeders, uh, be careful because you might end up getting a ticket because you're traveling too fast. That's the chariot talking. Um, but the positive is more positive than it is negative. Uh, things positively moving forward in the direction that you want them to move, whatever that is for you. OK. And then for some of you, it's the start of something new. Birth of a child, new job, friendship, romantic partnership could be business. Start of a uh, business entity or something like that. Then the top you're reading are Virgo. And this is a very positive re reading for Virgos because I know you haven't had. I don't recall these uh, readings because uh, I push all this energy out after I'm done. Mm. And I don't retain none of it. That's for personal readings as well. I do not hold all of that energy in because it's just too much. Um, the chariot represents cancer. The wheel of fortune is your last card. So there is a lot of luck. <laughs> Somebody gets lucky in love is right underneath the lovers. And this could be for, uh, you know, existing partnerships, too, that you are very fortunate to have each other. You can look at it that way. It's in the uh, upright position. It's always good. It could be that there's an indication of, you know, someone, you know, winning the lottery. Um, if you're gamblers, gamble responsibly. I wouldn't advise um, you know, doing anything, you know, ridiculous like, you know, taking the mortgage money or the car note to buy a bunch of lottery tickets because your chances of winning that is very, very slim. But anyway, you have good luck and good fortune on your sides. And that could be um, incorporated into whatever endeavor uh, that, that's going on for you in the next two week period of time. Good luck and good fortune shines on Virgo. You got the lovers in support, you got the chariot, you know, in terms of positive energies moving forward. Something is about to start new or something is uh, about to newly enter into some Virgo's lives, whatever that is. Whatever that is for you, okay? Ending of conflict with the two of swords in the reverse, eight of swords in the reverse. Coming out of my phase of needing to disconnect my energy from others temporarily. Now I'm ready to come out and deal. I've gotten to uh, the bottom of an issue, to heart of the matter, truth of the matter. Now I'm relieving the stress or the conflict associated possibly with that and the emotions associated with that as well. Virgo, this is what I have for you. So I hope it's helpful and beneficial. Uh, I do want to wish you all a very safe. Excuse me. Upcoming two weeks ahead, uh, always emphasizing safety and uh, sending you quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again, Virgo. Please be well. Take care. Bye.